Okay, let me start with a question. If you created a universe where you had people with sick ass armor, some of them can do magic, and whatever the hell this thing is, why would you pick the most boring dude to play in your game? Maybe my limited knowledge of the Warhammer universe is making this hard for me to understand, but the Tau in this game is presented to someone who's never played one of these games before seems pretty goddamn boring. Okay, I'm getting way ahead of myself here. Why don't we just talk about the fact that I'm going to beat 4,218 games on the PS2, huh? So I got to beat this one. I just got to stop complaining and I got to play it. And this game is Warhammer 40k Fire Warrior, the wonderful game that introduces you to the Tau race, which seems to be, I don't know, threatening humans on their one fucking planet. We don't actually get enough to understand why the humans, with all of their massive armies, are scared of one planet. On the start screen in the options menu, we check to see what control options there are because the last several FPS games kind of blew with control wise so we see we have auto aim and we have movement sensitivity now at first i thought it said aiming sensitivity so i thought that was the, how it worked the whole game but now i'm kind of confused like what the fuck is this option and you can't change your controls nearly as well as a game like black or even siphon filter it's pretty crazy that they don't have enough options for you to change fucking control once we start the game we get a cutscene showing our leader being taken by these guys in big armor and them massacring the rest of our alien race that's okay because we're the fire warrior and all that means is, is that we're good enough Enough to go get them back. The first level, which you would consider the tutorial, takes place in the trenches of war, and it's really, really simple. It's very linear, but we also get to see the wonderful models. I believe these are supposed to be humans, because one of them, this chainsaw-wielding maniac captain-looking dude, has a face that looks human-ish, but the other guys look like they were molded by the team who did Gumby, but they really didn't care. Looks like they were put together by the surgeon from Endocopia. I have no clue what's going on here. I'm also so disappointed in the shooting in this game, man. There's blue there's bloom on a console shooter on the PS2. Why is there bloom? Why did my shots wildly vary every time I fire my goddamn gun? During these first few couple missions, we get to get some keys. We get three keys, a blue, a yellow, and a magenta key. And the sad part about the keys is, well, there's two. One, they drop on the ground and they do not get highlighted. So you just have to walk over them and they're like nestled softly into the ground for some reason. The second thing is, is that the keys are always right next to the fucking door you need to use them on. I mean, they aren't scattered around the level. They're very, very close. So why do we even have the keys? After walking around different shades of brown and some grays, we finally find ourselves fighting this big chopper, and there is literally no indication you are hitting the chopper, except for your grenades blowing up on them, and sometimes little explosions on the, the chopper, I'm not really sure, but at first he was a little difficult, I just said fuck it, I'm just gonna run up to his face and blast it, and that's what worked. For some reason, sitting right up under this dude's motherfucking nose kills him. And you know what, he couldn't even hit me once I got under his nose, but you know why I did it? Now, this is embarrassing, to be honest with you. The next several levels are all the fucking same. You really don't see anything new except for a few buttons, and you're trying to rescue your guy named Kovash from the Imperial prison that they are holding him in, and this is your trial by fire, so you can become the Fire Warrior. I may have earlier said that you were already a Fire Warrior, and this is why you could do this. Nope, nope, you're becoming a Fire Warrior. But honestly, this isn't very hard. This is supposed to be a maximum security prison, and I'm just traipsing around the place, picking up random little vials that look like keys and just destroying everyone with my couple weapons that have enormous amounts of bloom. We do eventually find Kovash, which is surprising that we already get him back, and we rescue him by running him through and watching him kind of lightly jog through this situation. I'm really not- can you pick up the pace? Immediately after we rescue him, they decide to board our ship and take him back. No fucking duh, we jumped onto their little planet with millions and millions of ships and armies all around us and we're like, yeah, we're just gonna get him and run. No, they're gonna fucking board us and take him back. After only having access to a few weapons, we finally get a new one with even more fucking bloom, and it shoots fast and it's strong, but it has so much fucking bloom, I don't give a shit. I'm also confused. Why are there a bunch of keys in our ship not allowing me access through the doors? Shouldn't there be some kind of system? Aren't we some technologically advanced race of aliens or beings, whatever, that can do- Why do I have to find keys on my own ship? This is gonna sound familiar, but nothing new happens here except for one thing. They send a technician out to blow up a door in your own ship. But you've gotta make sure the area is clear, which is a very hard task, seeing as there's like three fucking dudes, you kill them and the technician blows the door up. That's it. It's really not any more than that. Why am I just walking forward and shooting? Really, honestly. We actually do eventually destroy all of the boarding barges, which is cool because that actually means we stop the boarding parties. But at the end, this one dude who's standing just a little too close to the explosion gets nuked. Poor dude. 
In one of the next levels, we have to find a tri key. Literally three keys that are all the colors that you usually get, and they're just down one of three doorways. And they're very close, and that's it. I don't understand why I have to find the fucking keys in the first place. Once we make it to the bridge, we actually are supposed to defend our captain from these guys in ultra armor or whatever armor this is. It's pretty cool looking, and I, again, wonder why I'm playing this most boring dude. But they end up killing the captain anyway, and now we're doing a counterattack on the ship they attacked us with, which is pretty cool. Okay. Okay, finally, we're actually doing something big. Once we get on their ship, we begin destroying all of their guns, so they are defenseless. Although they're nearly not defenseless, they still kick my ass a lot. But once you get through most of the levels, and you pick up a new grenade launcher from these guys in this big armor, which is pretty cool, thank you for the grenade launcher, you decide you're gonna go kill their captain. Like, haha, <laughs> eye for an eye. But when you get there, you get your ass subdued, and they say, oh, it, don't kill him, He's he got this far, this alien is kinda cool, so they let me live. Now, things here get slightly interesting, don't get too excited. It's not that great. Here's what happens. Some of the humans don't want to kill us anymore for some reason or another. They don't actually say right away. There's just a greater threat. And we need to have a truce because this isn't worth it right now. Okay, cool. Thanks for just destroying a bunch of our people and then deciding that it wasn't worth it. This other guy doesn't care and wants to continue going. Uh, the humans. Uh, I don't really understand the dynamic between these guys. I feel like they're already established characters in the Warhammer universe and I don't know who they are. So, we get our weapons taken away. We go over and watch Kovash, who we saved earlier try and sign a peace treaty. Of course, the guy who does not want to stop killing us doesn't stop killing us and betrays the other human. I don't know why, until we start to see these crazy looking dudes in the same armor, but red, and they come out of portals. There's some kind of chaos knights or chaos humans or something. I'm not really sure. There is no context given for the chaos people. I don't understand, and they look fucking sweet. Can I know a little bit more about them game, or do we just go forward and fire? The one human in ultra armor decides to actually help us and we go forward with a new gun, this like chain gun, and we get to pick up from the Chaos Knight people this awesome grenade launcher where if you hold the secondary fire button, which there is a secondary fire button for some reason, it fires grenades at a much quicker pace. Why would you ever fire it any other way? The grenades have bloom on them. The grenades have fucking bloom. They don't arc like a grenade launcher. They literally just have bloom and they fire straight forward. Who designed the weapons of this shit, shitty, shit, shit game? Our leader gets killed, so now we're actually taking directions from the the one human dude in armor who is trying to help us. I don't know why, but now we're taking orders from him. Sure, whatever game. Now we get to play the actual slightly more fun part of the game with the better weapons fighting better enemies. Not that it's great, because as we move forward, it is the same thing in a different environment. I mean, yes, the environment's cool. Sure, there's like all this blood and flesh and chaos all around, and if you walk into one of the portals that they make to come out of, you fucking die. The problem is, is at this point in the game, I'm kind of tired of it. <laughs> it's a really slog. <laughs> this game is just boring as fucking shit. And they're like, hey, second half of the game. The game's goal has changed. Now that your leader is dead, who you rescued earlier, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is fight the chaos, who has suddenly, unexpectedly appeared out of nowhere and with no context. And now you have to fight them with the humans. I'm very confused. I don't know why things are moving so fast, but who gives a shit? The game needs to be finished. As the game moves on, we get access to very few new weapons. There are a couple that are okay, but this game just doesn't have good weapons. And honestly, Honestly, the chaos people are fucking bullet sponges. A lot of times when you fight them, you have to reload after every kill. Sometimes when you fight them, you get hurt no matter what you want to do because they just have auto aim on as well and can just shoot you far away. Sometimes they take your armor down with one shot. Now your health is getting attacked. What, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? This is easy mode, bro. I play on easy for this fucking challenge. As we move down through the pits of chaos to where I assume we're just going to hell at this point, I don't, I don't know, this has got to be the equivalent of hell. That dude in armor keeps talking to us. He's like, hey there, fire warrior, we need to go further down the pits of hell and kill these demons. So just, I'll be behind you, just keep going. There is a better variation of enemies down here. You have enemies that have grenade launchers. You have enemies that shoot these weird magic looking guns. They also just run up on your ass and slash you. You've got enemies that have huge health pools and you've also got Got these mages who have a shield around them. I'm not sure if it's magic or if it's technology. I don't know. It's never made clear, but I assume it's magic. As the Chaos Knights summon portals, I mean, where else is this shit coming from? And we do eventually fight a demon, and then on our last set of levels in the Chaos Pit area, we fight just a gauntlet of enemies. And this is where things, I mean, the game is already so fucking slow, dude. <laughs> look, look. Bullet sponge enemies, one after another, after another, after another, in different rooms 
requiring you to only kill them with pretty much the only combat experience being hide behind a wall and shoot them until you have to reload. Hide behind a wall and shoot them until you have to reload. That's it. That is literally it. Even the last boss. See, the human who betrayed everyone gets turned into this big old demon, which he says he's invincible, but apparently our guns can shoot them. In fact, we are immune to the effects of chaos, except for the portals, which just instantly kill me. I don't, I'm not really sure the correlation between being immune, but also being able to die to some of the stuff. But apparently we have the technology or something to kill them, but the humans don't. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I run left and right and shoot this big demon at the end of the game, because that's what I believe you have to do is run left and right and shoot forward. Pretty much the rest of the game has been this. So I didn't think there's anything different here. And it really is. It's, it's just that easy. And he's going to hit you almost no matter what. So, I mean, who cares? Just fire repeatedly with this rail gun, which is apparently sacred technology. Only the Tau know. Boring. Once he's dead, that is it. The game is over. Not only is the game over, but the humans nuke hell. Look at this. It's also on a planet. I'm a little confused about that. But all I understand is nuke and hell. Hell is gone, people. There is no more hell. The humans have destroyed it. Fuck sake. And you know what? This is the end of the fucking game right here. There's not even a cliffhanger. It's just they, the, these two Tau warriors look at each other and nod, and they look the exact same. I don't know which one I am, but that's it. And here we go, everyone. It's credits. That's right. It's fucking credits. Feel that wave of credits wash over you like the water from a clogged toilet you didn't realize was clogged until after you pulled your pants up and felt it rush past your feet. It just let it wash over you. Dirty, stinking credits. And now comes the best part of the video at the end. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but it's the guessing game. Do, 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 do. All right. Here is the stable diffusion picture of the next game I will play. What game do you think I'm going to play? And I think this one might be slightly more obvious. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the picture is just going to be, it's going to make it really easy, but whatever, whatever. So I hope you liked the slight changes in my video as well as my thumbnail. I'm just trying some new things. Maybe this game was not very long. It was very boring and literally nothing to talk talk about. It was so fucking boring, dude. There is nothing to talk about. So I'm sorry if you wanted to hear more about it. There isn't really much. You really just walk around levels pretty slowly and shoot stuff. And that's it. I mean, yeah, you collect keys and push a button here or there. But God damn, dude, this was even worse than Black, which I thought Black felt like it was walking forward and shooting. But at least it was interesting, you know, like cinematic. It was a little hard, but Black was a lot more interesting than this game. This is like the bottom of the barrel FPS games. I'm sorry to the team who developed it and anyone who likes Warhammer 40k. I'm not saying Warhammer 40k is bad. I'm saying that this game presented to someone who has no idea what Warhammer 40k is was terrible. Also is an FPS. Terrible. And there's a lot more games out for the Warhammer universe nowadays, which are great, which are fantastic. I've even played Warhammer Vermintide, which is, is, is it not Warhammer 40k? It's just Warhammer. And then there's also Darktide, which is Warhammer 40k. You know what? I don't know. I said I have limited knowledge of this stuff, man. I don't know anything about it. So I took what I could. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with another video soon. Later.